Hello viewers, welcome to the section Prediction with R and Tableau using regression. In this section, we will learn about getting started with regression and comparing actual values with predicted results. Now we move on to the video, getting started with regression. In this video, we will look at the predictive capabilities and performance of regression algorithms. Regression means the unbiased prediction of the conditional expected value using independent variables and the dependent variable. A dependent variable is a variable that we want to predict. Examples of dependent variable could be a number such as a price, sales or weight. An independent variable is a characteristic or feature that helps to determine the dependent variable. Regression analysis can be used in forecasting, time series modeling and cause and effect relationships. Next we will move on to simple linear regression. R can help us to build prediction stories with Tableau. Linear regression is a great starting place when you want to predict a number, such as profit, cost, or sales. In simple linear regression, there is only one independent variable x, which predicts a dependent variable y. Simple linear regression is usually expressed with a line that identifies the slope that helps us to make predictions. To explore linear regression, we will use the women dataset which is installed by default with R. To see the women data sets, open R Studio. The variability of the weight amount can only be explained by the weights themselves, because that is all we have. To conduct the regression, we will use the LM function. Since we are using women data set, we will specify weight and height. Then specify the data set in data. In our case, it is women. When we type in the variable name, we will get the contents of the variable. In this example, the variable name women will give us the data itself. The women's height and weight are printed out to the console and you can see the example which is highlighted. We can visualize the data quite simply in R using the plot women command. The plot command provides a quick and easy way of visualizing the data. Our objective here is simply to see the relationship of the data. The results appear on the right hand side of the screen under the Plots tab. Click on Zoom to see the clear view of this graph. Now that we can see the relationship of the data, we can use the Summary command to explore the data further. This will give us the results which are highlighted. Let's look at the results in closer detail. We will clear this screen. Next, we can create a model that will use the LM function to create a linear regression model of the data. We will assign the result to a model called Linear Regression Model. We will type the command now. What does the model produce? We can use the summary command again. And this will provide some descriptive statistics about the LM model that we have generated. One of the nice, understated features of R is its ability to use variables. Here we have our variable, linear regression model. Note that the one word is storing a whole model. When we execute summary command, the result appears like this. What do these numbers mean? Let's take a closer look at some of the key numbers. First, we look at coefficients. What are coefficients? It means that one change in x causes an expected change in y. Here is how it looks in R. We can use the values of coefficients are given as minus 8, 7, 0.5, 1, 6, 6, 7, and 3.45. It means that one unit change in x, the weight, causes a minus 8, 7, 0.5, 1, 6, 6, 7 unit change in the expected value of y, the height. If we were to write this as an equation, the general model could be written as y equals a plus bx. This means that our prediction equation for the linear regression model is as linear regression model equals minus 8, 7 plus 3.45 multiplies height. We can get this information another way in R. We can see the coefficients by simply using the variable name linear regression model, which outputs the result as you can see here. Next, we will look at residual standard error. In the output, residual standard error is cost, which is 1.525. In this video, we explored regression.